Hello friends, my name is Jennifer Samson and I'm going to teach uh, the subject Computer System Architecture for a grid. And uh, in this uh, subject, you'll be having these experiments available over here. And in this, I'm going to teach you the experiment for now, Shift Lift by one grid. And all these experiments are going to be ex executed using a 0.85 processor. So now we'll start with the algorithm of your uh, Shift Lift by one bit. Uh, here in the shift flip by one bit, I'm going to use RAL instruction in grids rotate accumulator unit. So, first thing I have to load my contents, then I have to shift, then I have to store my result. Where am I going to load my content? I'm going to load my content into the accumulator from a memory location. So, I'm going to use LDA operation. Then I'm going to shift the uh, accumulator value to the left, that is, I'm going to use RAL instruction. Then I'm going to store the result of the accumulator because the result over here is stored into the accumulator and I'm going to store it into the memory. So this is my uh, output at where it is available. Now I'll just be explaining you the process of RAL instruction. RAL instruction is uh, shifting the data towards the left side from the north to the 7 and for this I'll be using a carry flag available over here. So what is going to happen is I'm going to shift the accumulator value towards the left using the carry flag and I'm going to move it back to the least significant bit. So consider the left corner to be the most significant bit and the right corner to be the least significant bit. What happens is the most significant bit value moves to the carry. From the carry my value moves to my least significant bit then it moves on and so forth. Let's see this with this diagram over here. Now we see that D7 is the most significant bit. When I do the shift operation D7 value moves into the carry. And at that particular time, the carry flag which was already available over there moves into D0. So again, the shift process should continue. D0 moves to D1, D1 to D2, D1 to D2 to D3, D3 to D4, D4 to D5, D6 to D5 to D6, and the previous D6 to D7 and moves, and moves from D6 to D7. So this all happens at one RAL instruction. So it is going to shift by one particular bit at a time. So if I want to shift two bits, please remember I have to give two RAL instructions, I cannot just give RAL2 or any other uh, unknown instruction. So, if I want to shift 5 bits of my accumulator value, I have to give RAL 5 times, RAL, RAL, RAL and so on. So, this is my particular shift operation, I hope you understood about doing this. Then, I'm, uh, this is the particular, uh, we will consider an example over here of uh, shifting the left bit. The bolded A values over here represent my accumulator and the small values, uh, the unbolted value represents my uh, uh, decimal, hexadecimal value A. So, uh, when you see this particular values A, D7 to D0 is representing my accumulator and I am going to give inputs A, A. So, you all know that A is hexadecimal and its value is 1010 in binary. So, if I give two A's over here, what does it mean? 1010, 1010, an 8-bit value which is stored in the accumulator which was obtained from the memory location. So this A value as we saw earlier has D7 to D0 value over here. When I give one RAL instruction what happens is the D7 bit goes to the carry flag. So this carry flag is now updated with one over here. Now the previous carry flag is moved to the value of another D0. So this shift process takes place. So what happens D7 moves to carry flag then what happens, D6 moves to D, D7, D5 moves to D6, uh, D4 to D5, D3 to D4, D2 to uh, D1, D1 to uh, D3, uh, D2 and uh, D0 to D1. So and my last value carry flag moves to D0. So it is an entire single shift bit operation that is taking place. Now from this value I can understand that I get 0 1 0 1 0 1 double 0. 0 1 0 1 stands for 5, 0 1 double 0 stands for 4. And this is uh, implementing my carry flag with the value 1. But I will not worry about this value when I get my output. So this is my example of AA. Now if I consider another example which I am going to be used in my program. I am going to take 0, 5. So what is going to happen with 0, 5? 5, 5 hexadecimal value is equal and binary value is equal to 0, 1, 0, 1. So I am going to give this particular value into my accumulator which is 0, 5. 0, 0, 0, 0 for 0. 0, 1, 0, 1 for 5 and my carry flag is initially 0. Now I am going to do left operation, shift left. So 0 comes into my carry flag which is updated 0, not the previous 0. 
now what is going to happen my d6 moves to d7 and so on and my particular d0 moves to d1 over here you can see the shift rotation this one moving into the next bit this one moving into the second bit and this zero is moved over here so what is my output now four zeros followed by one zero one zero four zeros is equal to zero one zero one zero is equal to eight so this is my particular shift left drawn by one bit uh, with an example now we'll be looking at the code now in this particular code i'm going to take for example a memory location as one four one double zero and uh, this is my particular instruction that i'm going to start with is load then i'm going to rotate and then i'm going to store so for loading i need to load my data from a memory location which is 4200 so my hl register pair is loaded with 4200 don't forget you have to give the input at 4200 that input is moved into the accumulator and these are the opcodes for my program for example lda is represented as 3a this 4200 least significant bit 00 is moved over here and 42 is moved over here so three memory locations for lda Next, I'm going to rotate uh, uh, accumulator left. So when I'm going to rotate it, the opcode for that particular RAL is 17, and we saw what is going to happen in RAL instruction in the previous slide. Next one, after the uh, left, left shift has taken place, I'm going to store that particular that value is by default stored into the accumulator. Now I need to see that real-time data, so I'm going to move that accumulator back into the uh, particular uh, memory location. For, and now I'm moving it into another location 4201. So STA, its opcode is equal to 32. Then 01 is moved over here and 42 is over here. So this is my entire opcode of that particular program, but I will not be using it for now. This is just for your understanding. And next one is halt. If I do not give this halt instruction over here, it, and the, uh, uh, the instructions available at 4108, 4109, 4108, all these particular programs will also all these instructions will also be executed along with this program so to terminate my program and tell that the my program also over here i give this halt instruction and the opcode for that is 76 so this is the actual work that is going to be taking place so i'm going to take my input from 4200 this is my particular input that i'm going to give at 4200 that is moving to the accumulator from 4200 using my lda operation then I'm going to do the RAL instruction. Then after I give that, my data is stored in the accumulator and that accumulator value is moved back to the location 4201. So if I give the value of 4200 as 05, I should be getting a value of 4201 at, uh, as 08. So now I'm going to execute this using my, uh, an online tool, which is an open source tool which is available in the market, which is SIM8085. So SIM8085.com, when you go into this website directly, you'll be getting this page over here. Now, these are the registers that are available, DC, DE, HL, whatever uh, registers that are available in 8085. This is your accumulator value, and uh, this is where we'll be having our data. And uh, these are the flags, the different flags that are available, zero, sign, parity, car, uh, carry, accumulator, auxiliary carry, all the flag values are available over here. And this is my memory location. So if I want to go into memory, any memory location, I just need to uh, type the particular value. So if I need a uh, 5000, what will happen is 5000. This is my 5000. So according to my program, as I told you, I'm going to the memory location 4200. So which means 4200, 4201, 4202, 4203, and so on. So this is my matrix representation of my memory location available over here. And I'm going to paste my program into this particular memory location and execute it. This is the compile operation. This is a single uh, this is a single step execution. This is a step by step execution process, and this is my refresh. So I'm now going to take my particular code from this particular uh, that I'm going to execute. The same LDA rotate uh, left and my store operation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste it over here. When I paste it, now my first step is to execute it. So I'm just going to check whether my program is compiled and it shows yes it is compiled. So now what am I going to do next? I have to give my particular values. Previously I had given 0, 5, 0, 8. Now I'm going to try my next example which I tried earlier. For example, I'm going to give the value double A. So when I give the value double A, what I need to do is I need to double click on this particular value and give AA. So when I click this particular value AA, what is going to happen? I need to compile this particular value. And when I compile this particular value, what is my next step? I need to execute it. So when I execute it, I hope you will understand that you will be getting the output as your particular executed value over here. 
I hope you saw this particular k a value 5 4 and uh, this is what we saw in our example over here when you give w a value as 5 and uh, w a and into your accumulator value your output will be 5 4 and this is what we got in this particular value a a and for that we got the output as 5 4. Now you can try this with another program and another uh, input value for example let us give the value that we saw here 0 5. Now when I give 0 5 over here and compare this particular value and I'm going to execute it step by step. So I'm going to start my program then operation is going to take place then I'm going to load my particular value of 4200 into the accumulator. So what is in 4200 0 5. So what is it going to do? Now you look into your accumulator value till now it was 0. Now when you look into the value it becomes 0 5. So this value moves into this particular value here. After this rotate accumulator left is going to take place. So this value 0 5 in my accumulator is going to be updated with my new value and this is what I give here 0 a. So this is what we saw in our instruction. When I give 0 5 I am going to get 0 a. So this 0 5 is now moved in and uh, replaced by 0 a but that it has not come into my 4 to 0 memory location. So to make it come into memory location SK4201 is being uh, executed. So this particular 0a value is moved into my particular location uh, 4201. So this is how is, uh, the particular shift left by 1 is uh, working. I hope you understood this particular uh, program execution. Thank you.